Hey guys, we are with the absolute man, Philip Sace himself. <laughs> We've been listening to this guy for the last, you know, 10, 15 years. Oh wow. Probably our favorite guitarist on the planet. Ah. He's supposed to be eating right now, but he's here yeah. talking about gear. Whatever you want to talk about gear wise, your beautiful strap. We might, might start there if that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Strap, yeah. yeah. You know what? And uh, shout out to my friends, Chris and Paul here. These are wonderful guys. All my love guys. I appreciate you so much. Um, this guitar is named Big Daddy. This is, uh, I've had this guitar for well over 10 years now. Uh, 1963 Stratocaster is named after my dad. And I have another 63 Strat at home. Her name is Mother. Mother. She's yeah. at home for this for this trip. Big yeah. Daddy's out taking care of business. Is that got the PS pickups in it? No, these are the original 63s in here. So yeah, I wouldn't mess with this one. <laughs> but those are great pickups. Joel Wilkins yeah. is the man. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Joel. Shout, yeah. shout out to Joel. We love you, buddy. <laughs> I remember when you got that guitar and there was literally uh, quite a lot of paint on there, wasn't there? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But you know, the old ones that you play it, it's like if you were, if you wear a pair of jeans every day for a long time, they start to get holes in them or your favorite shoes, they get holes in them. So <laughs> yeah, these get favorite guitar gets holes in them. And then over here we have uh, Silver Sky, Paul Reed Smith Silver Sky, which is uh, also just an outstanding guitar. Really thankful to have them. With uh, Silver Sky, so many more people are getting on board with them now that you're playing. And I've seen an upshift in, it, they're now like super cool to have a Silver Sky, whereas before it was like, <laughs> oh, I'm not sure, it's sort of a, it's all down to Philip. It's, it's weird. Yeah, basically, it's all down to you. Oh, I don't. I, selling I, tons I, of them now. I wouldn't take any credit for that. I'm just, you know, it, they're amazing guitars, they and good. they've designed a great guitar, uh, Paul Reed Smith, with obviously with John Mayer, and uh, it's such a such an, a, a pleasure to play that guitar. I mean, it's it's not. I'm not playing it to try to replace a '63 Stratocaster. Bring something else to the party. Though. Totally. It's it's like you know, one is like a '60s GTO muscle car, the other is like a '2020s Tesla. 100%. Different things, but it's very inspiring to play, and I'm grateful to have both. Awesome. Yeah. So, what about your pedals then? Because you've got some yeah. lovely, cool pedals. So, well, thanks for asking. So, I was hopeful to get my, my uh, pedal pawn Octavia on the board, but I, I want to just give a shout out. That is an outstanding pedal. The I mean, all the pedals that you've shared, they're just amazing. So, congrats. Um, over here is a uh, Line 6 DL4. We all know that pedal, and I uh, have it set sort of like as a, you know, for kind of like the emulated or echoplex kind of sound, you know, like. <laughs> you know, just a little, some trips to get a little psychedelic, little trips. <laughs> um, this is the Mega Vibe uh, made by, you know, KR. Um, yeah. Again, I just kind of set it uh, with, with Hendrix in mind, always Trower, of course, you know, this. <laughs> So really uh, enjoy that pedal, it's real watery. This is a uh, early 80s, like an 81, I think, uh, tube screen my friend Mike was kind enough to share with me and uh, I run it on a looper just to, so I can have the choice of either having it in the line yep. or not for the reasons of the buffer yep. and, um, and also for not having to use that switch. The original switch because you know they can oh, be yeah. a little funky so um so i just run it through this and you know i have the opportunity to kind of you know this is my clean sound like uh <laughs> Pushes the front end, you know, a little bit. Um, this <laughs> That's is, uh, crazy. This is a Caesar Diaz uh, square face. Um, the settings are at the moment a little bit all over the place, so I need to adjust them. But uh, you know, we know and love that pedal, right, guys? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and um, yeah, Caesar is the man for sure. And you know, they they clean up beautifully, and they they're big and big and nasty sounding. And obviously, Stevie Ray Vaughan made those things sound. Yeah. Like the heavens, um, and then this is a uh, Dia Caesar's uh, Texas Ranger, as well. I, I run it most of the time either on the mid or on the low setting, yeah. um, and I really like the way it complements the tube screamer. It's like a different, a little bit of a different shade on the tube screamer, but and I can clean it up too, which is nice when you roll it back. But here's like, if this was my sound. <laughs> Right? It doesn't 
nice thing. And the same with this, you know, we get this kind of going on. Like <laughs> But it's crazy. Oh, it kind of cleans up, you know, and then this is the uh, Octavia. And again, I gave you guys a shout out because you're making a great Octavia. That is a fantastic one. Uh, we've both got that. And that's the uh, Chicago Iron uh, recreation of the Tycho Bray one. And, you know, great, really, really cool sound. That kind of... And then, of course, like the a, a 60s, uh, late 60s Vox Bois. Yep. It's a transitional Clyde, which is one of my favorites. Yep. This one I've had a long time, and my friend gave me a Canadian flag, so I put that on there just Very to remember. Cool. I was saying before, I've never heard anyone get that expressive sound like you. You literally have extra sweep than any other human. I don't know how you do it. So. I, you know <laughs> what? I, I, I mean, I spent a lot of time watching the, everybody do it, like, like Jeff Healy or Stevie Ray videos. But, mm. you know, standing next to Jeff, watching him work a Wawa pedal, was like unlike anything I've ever seen before. I mean, yeah. he got that thing talking, and so I'd just be staring at his foot the whole night. But uh, yeah, this this is kind of like. Uh, so that's kind of the that's the wah that's the wah which I love. Yes. And then the uh, just really quickly, we'll yeah, we, we saw two really handsome guys wheeling that wheeling that in. I don't you know. know what. You pe thank you to Pedal Pond. Thank you, <laughs> both you guys, Chris and Paul, for lending me this cabinet for these dates. It's a huge help, and I'm so thankful. Really, mate. It's, an honor. To, it's an honor, man. I get to run my. It's my honor. Thank you. I get to run my Tommy Cougar amp. This is a travel head Tommy Cougar amp that he made, uh, and it's just a little amp that gets to travel. So yeah. Uh, so very small setup. It's kind of like a twin reverb. And I turn it around backwards just so it's a little more pleasant out front. Well, we can't thank you enough for yeah, your time, mate. You, you so you've much. blown our faces off in sound check, and now we're going to get our absolute faces oh, yeah. melted in Listen, the, the real gig. So it's, gig incoming. it's a pleasure and a privilege to hang out with you guys, and I can't thank you enough for your help and support, really. Mate, thank you. Thanks, thank sir. you. I think it's kind of good up in here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a great day. I'll see you in a little bit. Don't take off after the show. Like, hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.